All right, hello and welcome to another Community Legacy League video. Uh, this is Bobo Fraggles. I'm recording this on behalf of the Community Legacy League. We're in Community Legacy League event uh, on 9-9, and this is uh, round number one. We're playing Just Guy Shark still. If you want to support the um, league, you can click the link in the description below for Manitrader. Sign up, get 20% off using the promo code Bobo Fraggles. Uh, or you can go to patreon.com forward slash mtgcll to directly support the league. We're playing against a new person to our uh, league tonight. Uh, so we're just going to give him a little um, welcome. So we would love to play first. Uh, we are on Jeskai Shark still. So we have the end. Uh, we are going to slam this... Um, slam this standstill down and then sit behind a shark typhoon that's our plan go up on cards um so let's see what happens here all right so we're just gonna play the fetch land and we'll pass probably should have let off on an island but you know Hopefully it's, um, ooh, interesting. Ah, it's a bummer. That's a bummer. I imagine he'll take the standstill. I imagine this is going to go bye-bye. Unless he has a daze. Days rebuying Water Grave is like such a good play sometimes for these landlight um, Delver decks. Wow, Shark Typhoon, huh? Okay, I imagine he has a Days. Um, play the standstill. Good, it's stuck. All right, good. We have three land drops, so we're good. We're not breaking this, so. Wait for them to break it. Under no circumstances are we to break this. We're in our favorite type of game here. Perfect. And we wait. Super exciting magic, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so Cyclone Street Wave. We are cool with that. We need another white source, though. I probably should have fetched up a... T no, not a Tundra, because we're, you know, we're going to get wastelanded, so... <clears throat> Yeah, okay, good. <clears throat> if he wastes a wasteland on this, then, um, you know, we'll just fetch up another. We'll fetch up a Tundra that way if he wastes a second wasteland. <clears throat> wow, okay. Lands for days. We're not missing a land drop anytime soon. Okay. All right, cool. So he broke the standstill. Um, to be expected. I mean, what else is he really going to do here? Okay, we draw three cards. A lot of lands. 
like a lot of lands. Okay, we expected that to happen. Okay. Our hand's bad. Like, our hand's really bad for drawing so many cards. Okay, another standstill. So, we'll see what he wants to do. I imagine he's gonna take the standstill, if I'm being honest. Wow, it's a pre verdict, huh? I'm a little surprised by that, if I'm being completely honest. No regard for the standstills. Perfect. Drawing so many cards off these standstills, I love it. It's hard to remember, too, that we only have to deal 7 points of damage. So many lands, though. That's good. I mean, we have plenty of land drops. We're not hurting for land drops, that's for sure. And having the swords is a big deal. Okay. Hmm. Hard cast on that. Exile it too. Perfect. Six cards off standstill. I love it. I hope he commits one more creature to the board. We're going to take this hit. <clears throat> so that way he commits another creature. And then we're going to Supreme Verdict. We're going to attack and Supreme Verdict.
All right. So he didn't commit. That's okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just wonder if he's gonna force this or not. Cool. We untap and we enforce a will and secret verdict. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Very interesting. Um, okay. We're cool with that. Another land. Oh. Okay, so we just wait. We're gonna um, block here with the Snapcaster. Um, to fight over this in his turn to waste his mana. The shark's doing work. Chipping away one at a time. I'm going to play a new game every time um, he fights over a... Um, yeah, sure. We're cool with that. I'm gonna drink a white claw every time he uh, fights over spell beers. Drown in the lock. Okay, we'll probably just go Supreme Verdict here. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh... The fact that we're at parity right now is actually quite astonishing, to be completely honest. We're going to Shark Typhoon on end of turn. Okay, we're in complete and total control of this game now. Alright, this deck is fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and swing. Three. Cast Jace. This is, this is Magic the Gathering right here, folks. Alright, we're going to draw three. Put the land, put the ponder, cast and still. We're good. Okay, we got game one. Alright, so we're versus Delver here. So we definitely want Blood Moon. Blood Moon's gonna be really good. Um, Pyroclasm and Pyroblasts are gonna be really good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are on the draw here. Um, we're going to get rid of the Jaces because they're a little top heavy. Um, get rid of the Force of Negations because we're bringing in, we're going to get rid of the Force of Wells. We're going to try to answer one for one as much as possible. Let's bring in a Monastery Mentor and cut the other four. So we'll, we got additional three, four, five answers. A ton of answers to his stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'm not a huge fan of being on the draw in general versus Delver because they seem they can just get that tempo plan going. So to stand still might be a bit of a liability. Um... But I think with all of our one mana answers that that we're bringing in, especially with Blood Moon, if we can get them under a Blood Moon, we should be fine. We can path them. Path will be good. I don't know if they're running basic lands. Some um, of the blue black lists do, but we have five, six, seven, eight answers. Now ten answers to Delver. So Pyroclasm is interesting to bring in. It really only hits Delver and maybe like a very early on um, Death Shadow, but you know we'll see. We got plenty of Walkers. Um, Jace is not really great here because it's four mana and four mana versus this type of deck doesn't seem to go very far. But we got Snapcaster to bring back the spells. We got some dazes in here that we may be able to leverage. So we'll see. <laughs> oh. 
Drinking the claws. Okay, we got plenty of lands here. Um, we're, we're, we're good against Stifle. We have a Ponder to try to fix the hand. It's not a great hand, right? I mean, if he's just Delver, then we're okay with the Pyroclasm. But, I mean, this hand's not great. It'll do um, because we have early lands against Stifle. And I don't know if they're keeping Stifle in. Typically, they take Stifle out. But this is an easy way to play around it without having to worry whether or not they, they, they took it in or out. So, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm just sitting over here drinking claws too. These, um, so much fun. The, the Community Legacy League. So if you're ever interested in joining the Community Legacy League, I would, you know, really hope you give us a chance um, to uh, have fun with us. We get average between 18 to 30 players a week. Four rounds, just like your FNM, and we get prizes out to the top four. If we go greater than 20 players, we get prizes out to the top eight. So hope you uh, think about joining us sometime. Okay, so, all right, we are going to ponder. Okay, so I'm, I do want this card, so I'm going to leave this here till last, uh, and then there's no point in bringing the ponder up and then bring the Scotty Tarn. So, the Supreme Bird is what's going to get us back in this game. They can do anything they want to do. We just got to cast Supreme Bird until turn four without getting Thought Seized. So we got two more turns, so hopefully they waste all their Thought Seizes prior to us casting that. Fixing their hand a little bit. I like it. A lot of times they cut a wasteland too, so we will see. And we will see what happens here. They're thinking. One would say they're pondering. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, he'll be right back. All right. So this is a great opportunity to talk a little bit about the Community Legacy League. So the Community Legacy League is a free-to-play legacy event. We happen every single Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, four rounds, and um, we tend to have a lot of fun, so hopefully you join us. All right, and we're back. Still waiting on our opponent to come back.
All right, he's back. We'll do it live. All right, so fetch to grab water grave. Take two down to 17. Ponder. We're okay with that. We're okay with the ponder. Let's see what happens. We just need we need him to play threats by turn four or whatever. We have the million land drops. So we really need him to play a ponder. I mean, play a um, creature. Preferably a big one, like a Gurmag Angler or something. Probably has a Death Shadow in hand that he can't actually use yet. Okay. So we will... Oh, nope, not do that. Um, I don't think we do anything yet. We know our next turn. We know what we're drawing next turn, and we're okay with it. The only other thing is we could have played Ponder to stack the um, Supreme Verdict further down, but I'm hoping this is the turn that he lays stuff out. Which probably is why we should have done that. We very well should have done that. Another Brainstorm... Typically, it's a control player's clock we have to worry about, but we're good. We got 17 minutes. Street Wraith. Sure. Another Street Wraith coming. I feel it. Nope. Okay. Fetch land. Go to. Play the Death Shadow. Gerd boy. Okay. We're cool with that. We should have played this ponder and stacked that one more down. That's exactly what we should have done. Bit of a stupid for not doing that. Um, we're still going to play around Stifle here. Kasika Ponder. Okay. I mean, this is probably maybe better. Time Raveler, Standstill, Swords of Plowshares, no. Okay, we're making fight over this in his upkeep. Spell Pierce, Stubborn Denial, okay, cool. Play another creature. Play another creature. I think I stacked again wrong. I should have put the Teferi over the standstill just in case that swords didn't work out. And he thought seizes. I should have thought about that. I should have thought about thought seize plus. Um. I should have thought about that and didn't, so that's my fault. Oh, wow. Okay. Our turn. All right, Supreme Verdict. Yeah, if I had played the standstill there, I could have bounced this Gurmag and been in a much better spot. So... Uh, that's my bad. I messed that up. Uh, then I would have had the Supreme Verdict for the following turn to probably like cast that plus stand still. So I made a pretty big mistake. We'll see how punished I get for that mistake. I think we're going to win just due to time, honestly. 
more than anything else, I think we're going to win due, due to time. <clears throat> Big punt though on my part. Oof. Okay, I mean we'll we'll still get the land that's fairy. So obviously, yeah, standstill goes. Death shadow most likely. Yep. Okay. So we'll untap land to fairy. Um, bounce. And we'll go up a card. Another land. Jeez. Pyroclasm is bad here. This card should not have been brought in. Probably should have kept the Force Negations in. More than anything else. So, the card's dead. Don't know why. I don't know why I thought that card would be good. Their creatures are way bigger than two. So, this is a bit of a punt. Uh, overall on my part, but we'll see. Sure. If we draw a brainstorm, we're in good shape. Another land, huh? I mean, nothing else to do. We're gonna take five. We can still cast this at instant speed, so if we play the Delver next turn, then we'll at least be able to kill the Delver. But big punished for not playing this and then standstill, so a lot went wrong this game for me. Um, and it's all my own doing, so that's very interesting. But playing playing control decks, you get punished pretty easily for making small small mistakes, so. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <clears throat> I feel like it's a bit of a misplay on his part. Um, unless he has an answer for it on the way back down. Maybe. Another land. No, Power Blast. Okay. So. We play it again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um Oh, it's so dead.
Another land. Oh, wow. Wow. Talk about drawing into your outs. Talk about drawing into your outs. I mean, all those cards we drew, it's, we're bound to get it eventually, but. Okay. It's even better. We got really lucky here. Like. He should have read Supreme Verdict, though. I mean. So now we're in good shape. We are flooded, though. Um, we are flooded. This game is not over yet. Very doing good work. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good. Probably should have spell pierced that. Definitely should have probably spell pierced, but Okay. I want to do it for exactly lethal. <sighs> Hitting our land drops. That's for sure. <laughs> this is a game, that's for sure. Okay. We're bouncing. Okay, good. Shark Typhoon him again. Making a big, uh, big shark. I 
Talk about drawing to your outs. I think the turn that was pivotal for us was the turn um, where we were able to um, – was the turn where he bounced the Teferi. That was – gave us a whole – it's like giving us a whole new Teferi to draw more cards with and give us another turn. So um, – I think that was probably the mistake there. Probably we could have lost this game if we didn't do that. And, you know, we have no rights winning this game because we had a lot of mistakes. Um, you know, we had a lot of mistakes. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with um, more matches here shortly. So thanks for um, tuning in.